Greetings everyone, it's Alexor again, and <laughs> this is an interesting topic, isn't it? The question is, are streamers actually ruining ARPGs? And is everyone missing the point entirely of the whole game? And I came across this because I realized one thing. If you actually look at Steam for Diablo, let's actually bring this over here real fast. There we go. Now, I have only 60 hours in Diablo 4 so far, right? But if you go for the um, achievements, there is, for example, this one. Dedicated Protector. Reach level 50 with any character. Any character, right? Not just with 5 or what? Just the first character you play, reach level 50. Only 35% of all players for Diablo have ever achieved this. Okay? That means 65% of players never even leveled a character above level 50. This also completely ties in with what Mike said from EHG, the guys who make Last Epoch, that the majority of players, which is like, he said, I think 70%, I think, never even finished the first monolith boss. Okay? That means most players of these ARPG games they never even play to the end game, ever. So my question is, why is everyone so hellbent on putting a lot more endgame content into these games? That's the key, isn't it? Last Epoch, Mike also said, Tier 4 Jura, right, is the toughest boss in the game currently. Only a tiny percentage of people have ever even beat Tier 4 Jura, right? Only a tiny percentage of players. And now they're adding a boss who's even stronger than that. And many other bosses. This content will just most likely never be played. Most people will never play this content. And they have even more endgame content planned over the next builds. Or the next seasons. Same with Diablo, right? But for who is that content even? If the majority of players doesn't even ever play that. And this is, again, where the huge de decrepancy between streamers and actual players is. Because me as a streamer, right? Or any of you guys, your, your favorite people. Just want to call some names. Rex, for example, right? Woody from Diablo. Asmongold. Rob from Diablo. Um, Aaron, for example, for Last Epoch. Whoever you want to name. It's just top of my head. They just zoom through that content that new content within like hours because they play the game eight hours a day or more five days a week or more so you just through the content super fast but your regular dad right your regular dad guy or even a regular just person has maybe like one hour per day let's say let's be generous and say five hours a week he has time to play this game because of family job um, other things, whatever it is. And these people would just never get to the endgame. The only way for them to experience the endgame is through streaming. Now I see one reason or one way this whole thing could work or could make sense is if a streamer or content creator, let's say that, plays through that endgame, it is sort of a marketing for the game for people to buy it. But my problem, which is why I bring this whole thing up, is this is actually a bad way for the devs to look at the game. Of course you get some marketing, but the content you create and spend months developing on, most people will not even play that ever. Now Diablo, I think, is doing a somewhat good job at trying to sort of find the balance between endgame content and early game content. But what about this? What if instead of throwing so much time into endgame content, we, for example, completely drop the whole Paragon system in Diablo. We have a skill tree that goes to level 70, for example. And we have, instead of 5 classes, we have 10. Now, you can't really do this in Diablo 4 or even in Last Epoch, it's too much overhaul. But let's just think of a new ARPG that comes along. It has 10 classes, goes to level 70, and this is the main game. This is where you do everything. I mean, you could also just make it to level 100 if you like the number 100. You just get there faster. 
and the way there is more fun the campaign is more fun or even skipping it you have more things to do right from the beginning you have more skills last epoch is already doing this more skills to play with and just more classes to try because what is more fun you tell me what is more fun grinding the echoes or the pit over and over and over again for that one item that gives you a 10% buff on your damage or that one aspect whatever it is or trying a new class with completely new skills what is more fun so i think we are currently in a state in this whole meta so to speak about rpgs where there is too much too much being focused on the end game through streamers and content creators that nobody plays in the end instead of focusing on the actual casual game now again i understand that this is of course great marketing if people are watching us killing these bosses or going through the end game and getting new end game content but will they ever play it now maybe i'm completely off base and this is actually the best way for them to make money if people see this the end game content then they want to buy the game they buy it even though they never play to this maybe maybe it's also that 70 percent of casual players don't actually spend any money on the game and it's just the 30 percent who know life the whole game maybe that is actually what's going on i don't know i just wanted to make this video to give some food for thought let me know what you think of it in the comments below if you think i'm completely off the maybe the test has already been done before i don't know but it just feels so weird to me that we're focusing so much dev time and content creation for the games on content that will never be played by most people. Just kind of weird to me. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I will see you in the next video.